Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the free hammers. I had to leave it a few hours or, you know, overnight just to calm down. That was a real humbling last night, wasn't it, by Aston Villa. I said before the game that this was a game that would prove where, you know, where teams were going to go. You know, Villa looked like a real good team. Like we have, you know, picked up some decent results and we look like we might be able to push on. Um, Villa came with a plan. Um... They've got a striker that can actually score goals. Uh, they've got pace, they play positive football, and West Ham don't do that. Um, the lineup was as it has been for the last four or five games in the league. You know, we all wanted to see Kadu start. And it's just, uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Antonio, I put it out there. He's not he's not a starter anymore. He, he can't be starting. Loads of channels are saying it for weeks and weeks and weeks. And, you know, I agree with him. He can't start. He needs to come on as an impact sub now. He, he, he can't cross. He constantly floats out to the wing, which gives us no vocal point through the middle to try and score the goals. Um, worst game that Edson Alvarez has had. But, you know, I'll give him a pass because he has had some really, really good games recently. But, yeah, he was... You know, he, he give away the penalty and he just, he wasn't at the races today. Um, Paqueta, again, just, I think he got a bit bored and tried to start trying to do things and it just wasn't coming off. Suchek, absolute passenger again. Um, their first goal came uh, through Douglas Luiz. You know, he tested at Ariola before that with a cracker and then um, it was saved. And then obviously, you know, after that, he, he he put another one in low and scored it, which unfortunately for us meant we was one nil down. Um, we did have the early chance that was offside with Boeing, with uh, which forced a save from Martinez. But apart from that, in the first half, we didn't really do much. Um, set pieces were really poor yesterday as well. And then going into the uh, second half, you think, come on, Dave, make the change. You know, give. Uh, Emery something to think about with Caduce coming on he didn't kept it the same for a really long time <sighs> and then a penalty came Alvarez brought down the player Douglas Luiz slots it in for two at that point we sort of had a little spell for a bit uh, Bowen scored again very lucky goal but you don't shoot you don't sorry you don't shoot you don't score and that, that was the case and it went in um, we had a a bit of a chance when Caduce did come on, Antonio burst into the box. The only good thing he did in the game, played the low shot, and then, yeah, just, yeah, it's just, just embarrassing. It really is. Ollie Watkins, good goal when he got in, you know, absolute rocket uh, of a shot from him uh, to make it 3 1, and then, you know, 4 1 from Bailey was just totally embarrassing. They're going to go on and have a really good season. Listen, it's nothing against them. They've been. They've been fantastic, you know, real, real good performance from them. But us, we just, we've got to have a plan B. There's got to be some proactivity in the game. And we just haven't got that. We just can't do it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. It's just short and sweet because if I carry on, uh, I'll break our swearing rule. Anyway, guys, come on, you minds. Keep believing if you can. Let's go.